Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. I'm your host, Mikey. Today I'm going to show you how to place grommets inside your crochet project. Never done this before, and I'm doing a lunch bag where this is required to hold in the handles into the project. What we have here is a combination of things. So here is a package of grommets, and when you buy these, sometimes they provide the punch, and other times they don't. You need the punch. So if it's being sold separately, like I picked it up, then you'll have to buy that separately on its own, and then you just buy the grommets. Now, if you go to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts, you see they have a kit that everything is included for the first time you do it, and then you can buy replacement grommets, just like you see. So there are two types of grommets uh, materials in there. You'll notice one that has a lip that is facing up, just like you see, and the other one is more flat. Okay, this lip one is the good side. So whenever you're looking at the project, you should be looking at it from this point of view when you're looking at the good side of the project. And the other one being so flat should be the back side of the project. So without further ado, let's take a crochet project and let's show you an example. To do any kind of grommet work, you're going to need a hard surface other than a table or something that you don't want to ruin. So you'll notice that this is the bottom of the punch. There's a flat side to it, just like you see, and then there's a side that has a cupping that you see. So the cupping side should face up. And what you're going to do is the one with the bigger lip is the one that will sit down on top of the cup. Just like you see. And what you're going to do is insert your project over that and then you're going to take the other smaller one and place it over top and then take the punch itself and then just go down and just give it some light taps with the hammer. On the top side of this lunch bag, I skipped one stitch and I chained one and I have a little hole. Now your grommet should be able to fit inside that little hole when you have, and there's two of them, and because there's two sides, there's gonna be a total of four grommets. So, so what I have to do is determine what side is the good side of the project. I've determined that this side is the side that I wanna see. Therefore, this one here with the lip on it should be the one that is on that side and the other piece should be on the inside of the bag. So what I'm going to do is force that one through the hole. So there's a chain one space hole and just move around the stitches so that you can get it to fit and you will see that it will fit just like there. Now you're going to take the punch and lay it down on top of the, the board and you're going to carefully place that down so that it's inside the punch. You're now going to grab the other one. Now the other one has a lip just like you see. It should be like a bowl shape so the bottom of it really should be facing down so it's like a bowl. Okay, and you're going to place that right up over top of the other piece, just like you see. So now, what you're going to do is that you are going to take your punch and put it right on top. So keeping everything nice and firm, and now grabbing your hammer, you want to tap down on top. And what I'm trying to determine was whether it's stuck or not. And what I have here is that I can see that it's gone down a little bit but I still have to tap it in a little bit more. And then I'm going to retest it and I'm going to check it and just to make sure that the interior piece has come through this smaller ring. If you're not sure yet, just keep on tapping until you feel that it's secure. Once you think you tapped it enough, you'll be able to see that the upper lip went over top of the other ring, therefore it's good to go. So all you can just do now is switch to the other one. So in this case there's two of them. So again, my good side is the one I want facing out. So I'm just going to apply, apply it to the chain one space and I just have to move around the fibers in order to do that. So just get it to go around and once I can see the ring is exposed all the way through, I'm going to again place it down on top of the punch. Then, taking the other one, again, see the bowl shape itself, you want to face that down, and then taking your punch, put your punch on top, and then take your hammer and hammer it down. I'm going to pick it up and just check it and see if it actually took and if I'm not happy with it, I can just apply it again. And therefore, I have two grommets inside my work for my lunch bag. Mm -hmm.